Fear and greed are the evil twin emotions that cause us to make bad investing decisions. And learning how to roll long option trades can help solve this problem. This is a technique that removes judgment and emotions from the decision-making process of investing. It's a technique I use myself and I've talked to thousands of traders over the years and I've seen it literally change lives. Bear with me while I set the stage and tell me if you've heard this story before or if it sounds familiar. In fact, I want you to comment on this video if you've ever had this happen to you when you placed a trade. So you start by placing a trade and the trade goes in your favor. You're up pretty big and you're getting excited. Then suddenly the trade goes against you. The chart doesn't look as good and you're not getting as much money out of it as you were. You're not as profitable as you were. You give it just a little bit longer. It reverses a bit, recovers a little, and you decide to exit with a profit. You shut down your trading platform and you go about your business. Now, a while later, you look back at that trade and you realize that if you had just held on a little longer, you could have made many, many times what you did. Does this sound familiar? If so, does this next part sound familiar as well? You say to yourself, oh, well, it's okay because I still made money. Well, there's an old saying in finance that you can't go broke taking profits. Well, it's a nice sounding saying, but it doesn't actually hold up very well in the long run because you can absolutely go broke by not letting your profits run. You're going to have losing trades and you're gonna lose money sometimes when you're investing. Your profits in your winning trades have to be enough to make up for those losses and then some if you wanna be profitable long-term. The problem is we don't actually know the future and that is what makes trading so difficult. A rolling techniques can help solve this problem. If you're brand new to option trading, some of the terms I use may be new to you. Feel free to ask questions in the comments, or you could come visit us at tacticalincome.com and we'll ha be happy to help educate you. You can trade using whatever software you have access to. I'm partial to the Tactical Income platform because of its combination of simplicity and power. Now let's suppose that we were bullish on AMD back in October of 2021. I'm going to use the Tactical Income backtesting tool to demonstrate just how effective rolling techniques can be. We wanted to give it plenty of time to move, so we bought some three-month options. And we're gonna use options with a delta of about 80. We're also gonna use an exit for a loss rule of 50% of our current options entry cost. I think that walking through this example of rolling will help you understand it a lot better than me just trying to give you a theoretical explanation. So, here we go. As you can see, on October 1st, the call option with the delta closest to 80 was the 85 strike and it was gonna cost us $20.45 at the ask. I'm gonna step forward in time using these arrows right here. And as I do that, I want you to focus on this area that shows our profit or loss right here. I'm gonna step forward one day at a time so you can watch as we make or lose money day by day. Now look at this, by October 13th, we're up over 25% and it's time for us to roll. I'm gonna change our backtesting date to the 13th. Remember our delta when we first purchased the call? It was about 80. Now our delta is up to 88. Well, we don't want 88 deltas, we want 80. So we're gonna adjust this trade by rolling. Well, the first step in rolling is to sell your current position. We can sell that right now for $25.70. At the same time, we're going to purchase the 9250 strike call for $19.65. We're choosing that call because it's got a delta of about 80. This is going to reduce our original risk in the trade by $605. Remember, we originally paid $20.45 for our call. That was our original risk. We then sold that call for $25.70. At the same time, we bought a new call option for $19.45. This leaves us with $605 more in cash, reducing our original risk to $1,440. So we've lowered our risk in the trade, but we still have unlimited profit potential if the stock continues to rise. Well, let's see what happens next. 
In three days, we've made over 30% on our current option, and it's probably time to roll again. This time, we can sell our existing option for $25.70 and buy the new 80 Delta option for $19.75. We're putting another $595 back in our pocket, and we've reduced our original risk in the trade by almost 60%. Now don't worry, I'm gonna show you all the numbers at the end of the video, but for now let's just keep going and let's see how this plays out. Our next rolling opportunity comes on the 25th and we put another $370 in our pocket. By our next rolling opportunity on November 3rd, we've put a total of $2,345 back in our pocket and our current option cost us $1,910. That means even if our option goes to zero overnight, we'll still be walking away with a $435 profit overall. I'm gonna fast forward the back testing to our final adjustment here because it gets a bit repetitive. But I want to show you how this trade ends and then I'll show you the final numbers. Okay, by the time this trade ends on December 6th, we've rolled a total of six times and we're walking away with a profit of $3,115 overall. That's a profit of 152% in just over two months. Well, let's take a look at what happened on our final adjustment and how we ended up exiting this trade. On November 24th, we rolled to a strike price of $135. On December 6th, our loss rules were met and we ended up exiting with a $1,300 loss. Now, this is the hard part to get used to in rolling. When you use this strategy, your final trade will always be a losing trade. But as you can see in cases like this, that's okay because we put so much money in our pocket before the stock pulled back. Let's take a look at our final numbers. As you can see, our original risk was just over $2,000. By the time we rolled this trade four times, we had recouped our entire original risk. In other words, it was all house money at that point. By the time all was said and done, we walked away with over $3,000 in profit on our $2,000 trade. Now at this point, some people will say to me, this was a cherry picked example, come on. And my answer to anybody who says that is, well, of course it was. Now, is rolling going to work this well every time? Of course not. Sometimes it may backfire. The point is we don't know the future. We don't know for sure when a stock is going to go on a long run or when it's going to turn around and go against us. Rolling lets us stay in the trade longer while simultaneously reducing our risk. It allows us to trade with the market instead of trying to guess what the market is going to do next. Following this approach removes the emotions of trading from the decision making process. We simply roll until our final trade loses and the market tells us we're done. Now, notice the way I phrased that. I didn't say that rolling is gonna remove emotions from trading. You're gonna be emotional no matter what, but what rolling does is it removes the emotions from the decision-making process. Rolling long options is a fantastic management strategy that helps you to reduce your risk while staying in the trade as long as possible. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you'll know when we'll be posting again.